to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. J.C. Kingham and Wilson. McIntyre. Here. Scholl. Here. Okay. Are, are there any agenda deletions at this time? Seeing none. Uh, agenda item one is the consent agenda. We have claims at $600. $34,327.03. Consent uh, agenda B. Minutes to approve our organizational meeting on January 2nd, 2019. Our regular meeting at January 2nd, 2019. Uh, C. Approve hire of Emily Newman, motor vehicle clerk, treasurer office, effective 1-21-2019. D, approve hire of Dave Metz, CT Security Transport Jail Sheriff Office, effective 1-14-2019. E, approve job description for IT specialist. F, approve change of job classification of Jonathan Reed, IT help desk technician to IT specialist, IT department, effective January 21st, 2019. January 28, 2019. G, rescind resolution number 1908, investment report and investment policy. H, accept investment report. I, approve attorney's office to receive Dr. Martin Luther King Birthday in lieu of President's Day as paid holiday due to court schedule. NJ, set public hearing date of 2 5 of February 5th, 2019 at 9.35 a.m. Second reading for road vacation, the west 60 feet of said southwest quarter of southeast quarter except the south 70 feet thereof. I would move the consent agenda. Second. Scholl? Aye. McIntyre? Aye. Okay, second agenda item is consider appointments to the following boards with possible action. Okay, what happened at our organizational meeting is we read off some of them, but we didn't read all of them. So to make it official, we have to read each name off for each board or commission. So the two, 2019 board or commission commissions will be as follows. The Board of Adjustment, Charlie Still. The, we don't have any other, is that a vacancy? These are just the changes. Um, so the rest of the board members, they, they were already approved previously. These are just the, the vacancies that we have filled. Um, so these are just the new people going onto the boards. And then okay, so that would be Board of Adjustment, Board of Health, and... Oh, well, all of these. So the Condemnation Compensation Commission, mm -hmm. by code, is required you have to annually appoint these people. So all of them have to be appointed. All so just those, read all the names. Um, some of them are new, some of them have been on the board before. At the last meeting, you you approved. I think it was four. Was it four or five? I think it, yeah. The one you had multiple applicants for. Um, okay, so but all of these need to be approved. I think it was the zoning and um, conservation as well. We approved. Yeah, you okay. approved just those, but in okay. fact, the full sheet should have been approved last. Okay, time. so we just have to read all the names up. Okay, thank you. Okay. Board of Adjustment is as said. Board of Health, Bill Gross. Uh, compensate, condemnation, Compensation Commission. Owner Operator of Agricultural Property, Paul Mead. Don Van Reiser. Uh, Stephen Walter Sr. Jim Meadows. Kim DeLay. 
and Pete Putney. Alfonso Venezuela Gumsico. Owners of city or town property, Stephanie Rivera, Mark Miller, Shirley Clark, Kate Homer, Steve Wilson, Cody Miller, and Sandy Ofsted. Licensed real estate salesperson or real estate brokers, John Akers, Darren Becker, Kim Keller, Carrie Bishop, Misty Soldwich, John Mask, and Brady Jackson. Persons having knowledge of property values by reason of occupation, Joe Gavitt, David Churchill, DJ Reynolds, Mark Putney, Charles Burgeon, and Joe Albright. There is a vacancy. Warren County Historic Preservation Commission, Nick Lanning, Alfonso Venezuela uh, Gumicho, and a vacancy. Medical Examiner, Lori Miller, DO, and Weed Commissioner is vacant. I would move the uh, appointments to the six boards as present. Second. Show. Aye. McIntyre. Aye. Okay. Next item on our agenda is the discussion regarding upgrading voting equipment with possible action. needs rather than purchase all new equipment um, I can update the um, handicap piece which also can be used if you run out of ballots or lines get too long or whatever um, it would be cheaper to replace the small screen to a larger screen which they no longer have um, the parts to update what we need for the smaller screens that we have. Mm -hmm. So um, they've extended to the end of this month to give me um, a deal on this. Uh, right now it's $200 per piece, but after this month it'll be $600 each, which I have 33, I think, um, machines. Mm -hmm. So, um, and again, like what they did when we had to purchase this equipment to begin with, I think it was six, seven years ago, um, I can make three yearly um, interest-free payments to take care of it. So I would rather just update what I have rather than spend a lot more money purchasing all new equipment. So. That's the short story. Of so if, if I understand you right, it's 33 times $200? Yeah, it's there, yes. <clears throat> Which is, I think, 6600 Yes. And we pay that just annually? Well, now the to what I need here, there's a software license. The, whole, the total with a 20, um, or with a discount allowance, is twenty thousand dollars so seventy eight thousand two seventy two right now is is the total balance of everything for what I need divided by three is that right yes yeah okay <clears throat> so I don't get the seventy eight I I understand two hundred dollars a machine and then twenty thousand for some kind of a there's a um, a mini scan machine um, <clears throat> that I need to purchase with it also. Um, and let's see here. That and the scanner and the, just the freight charges, I guess. And by the time we get it all added up, it comes to 78. So the first payment would not be due till July 1 of this year. And like I said, like our previous setup, it'd be July 1 of each, the next three years. So it is divided as 78 by 3? Yes. And the only other question I have is, is there any other options? No. No. 
I had kind of put it off because I thought I could get by without doing this, but if I don't update the equipment I have now, they no longer can take care of that due to everything being upgraded and all the updates that I need to run an election with, they no longer have or can do for what I have. So it's either purchase all new equipment, which would be, I don't know, 100,000, over 100,000 or 200,000, would be just to update the screens that I have now, which they said would last six to eight, maybe 10 years more. Uh, he said he would guarantee that, so. Okay, just so I understand. Whoever he is, he would guarantee that if we do this, the last 10 years. And I'm assuming we'd have that writing. Um, I don't yet because I haven't agreed on anything. Which seems to be something we want to get. Um, my hands are more or less tied. If I don't do it, then like there's a new update that's come out, which they no longer have the capacity or the, I don't know, I'm not a computer person, but they no longer update what I have. So <clears throat> if I have issues at election time, I'm kind of lost. I mean, they would have to come up from Missouri to bring me a rental piece of equipment or whatever. So. Um, and wasn't this only good for this month? It actually was good through the end of December, but um, like I said, I kind of put off because I thought I could get by without it, but then after discussing it further, um, they will no longer do the updates on the equipment that I do have because they don't do that anymore. Everything is computer stuff just keeps <coughs> evolving every day. And, and then um, they stop supporting it. So yes. Okay, um, now I understand your concerns. Um, is there any way that we could get, maybe approve the $26,990 that you need for this fiscal year on the assumption that, not assumption, but on after we get the written agreement from him staying either it's six, eight, or 10 years that he guarantees this. And if you're not comfortable with this, I can have him come here and he can give a demonstration, he can talk to you, um, however you might want to do it, if you know if you want to do that. I did, I have until January 31st to okay. make okay. a decision. So we, would we have another special meeting then to approve this or not uh, realizing it's not until next fiscal year, July 1st, you said. Right, yeah. right. I wouldn't have to make a first payment until July 1. Yeah. Maybe we ought to have them come down. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. We'll, 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 ta we'll table this until we have a special meeting. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Consider Board of Supervisors appoint to Law Enforcement Center slash Courthouse Architectural Design Committee with possible action. Okay, and this happened because um, Dean Yorty was our representative uh, to the <coughs> Law Enforcement Center and uh, Courthouse Design Committee. And since he's no longer an active supervisor, a different representative needs to be designated. So I have wording. Um, if you would agree that I could serve on that. Sure. Yes. I would uh, I would move that agenda I four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would move okay. it. Okay. I'm okay. moving that yeah. Supervisor Mac McIntyre to be the representative of this board to the Law Enforcement Center of Courthouse Architecture mm -hmm. Design Committee. Okay. Second. I have the living for that person. Oh, okay. Show? Aye. McIntyre? Aye. Okay. And to receive and file reports. We have a report from the recorder, from the auditor, veteran, veteran affairs, general assistant, and the humane society. I would 
accept a motion to receive. Second. Second. things to spend money on. And uh, I think 
there's not a person in the state uh, who won't uh, present much of an argument that mental health is an important issue and that when we're allocating dollars for mental health, we want to do so wisely. Um, there's things like beds and doctors that are, are vitally needed. Um, if, if I'm in contrast, uh, if the regions are spending money on one-offs or capital projects, that might be good, but it might also be somewhat short-sighted because they just have to spend it down if they're going to get more money. So to that end, um, I told Betsy Sturzma that I would uh, personally look at it, and I've now done so. I've made some calls uh, to the legislature. Um, I talked with uh, a different lobbyist, not the one that handles CICS, but one that I highly respect in a different role, um, who's sort of friends with both sides. She took a look at it. Um, I spoke with the Senate president on it, and um, we've set some meetings up with our state representative and our state senator to also take a look at it because I'm not opposed to having, uh, one, we gotta be in compliance with the law, but I'm not opposed to having some other people start taking a real hard look at how we spend mental health dollars because I wanna do so wisely. So not only am I somewhat fearful of some upcoming waste that might happen not only in our region and throughout the state, compounded by nine or so other regions, but it also is going to present a shock for the budget because um, we, we certainly could lower our levy rate to a zero and do that for a year or two while we spend down the budget. But what's going to happen is the levy rate's going to go right back to the max in 2022 or 2023. That's going to be a shock to the taxpayers. And that peaks and valleys, um, that's not what we're looking to do. So that is going to get worked on both through the CICS board as well as some other channels because I think it's something that's uh, important. Um, in addition, I had a meeting with our budget administrator in Cumming uh, last evening regarding the uh, renegotiated contract. Um, we had a Warren County budget workshop meeting. We had a closed session. Uh, we had an IPERS presentation that I attended. Uh, continued to meet with various board directors, uh, staff of the county. Continue to take calls regarding secondary roads. I think that might be an ongoing uh, thing for me. Um, a few other meetings, and we have a couple things set up. Uh, this week we've got uh, MPO and CIRTVA. We're keeping busy. Thank you. I uh, failed to approve a fringe benefit for 18 meals at $171.11. I will take a motion to accept that. First, I move. I'll second that. Thank you. Jason? Shaw? Aye. DeCook? Aye. McIntyre? Aye. And uh, agenda item number seven, we have um, public input. We have any members of the public ready to come up? Seeing none, we will move on to agenda item eight, next meeting date.